My dearest Earth brothers and sisters, this is Tourmaline speaking. I embrace you in love. My dearest friends, how is the Earth journey going for you? From my perspective, people are rapidly waking up there on Earth. Although my perception of time is probably dramatically different from yours, so from your perspective, it might feel slow. Regardless, things are certainly moving in the right direction, and the excitement of our approaching meeting is making me feel young again. Thank you for that. It is a great gift. I know that many of you see us as some kind of higher beings that are elevated above you. Now, on one hand, I sort of get that. But on the other hand, us Pleiadians are looking to help uplift you and then coexist with you as equals, we are not looking to be worshipped by you. Ultimately, we're just people. Yes, we don't suffer the trauma and pain and the blocks that come with growing up on Earth, and we're raised with more love and more information and more options available to us, but still, we're just people. To communicate that, I'm going to use a principle that is strangely unknown and underutilised on your world, and it is, if people don't see you as being part of their group, you can make yourself seem more like one of them by describing strong positive emotions you've experienced, strong negative emotions you've experienced, and how you've suffered, so long as you're being honest and speaking from the heart. I don't think this is manipulation. I think this just helps the other person find their empathy. So us Pleiadians are human, just like you. We get annoyed. We get horny. Sometimes we cry. Sometimes we're naive or judgmental or impatient. Sometimes we wish things were different than they are. Sometimes it's hard to accept that we live in a galaxy where some of our brothers and sisters have to fight reptilians and others, or else we all get killed or enslaved. And yes, we do worry about our loved ones in the military. Sometimes we create something and we're proud of it, but other people don't like it quite as much as we would have hoped. Sometimes we try really hard to get good at something, and someone else just outclasses us anyway, and we know that that shouldn't bother us, but it still bothers us a bit. Sometimes things seem just a bit easier for other people than they seem for us. Sometimes we so desperately want to spend our life with this amazing person, and yet sometimes they choose to be with someone else and not with us, and it's hard for us to see them together with this other person. Why did this person who we love so much choose them over us? Is that other person more desirable than we are? Are they better than we are? What makes them better? Why are we not good enough? Or perhaps the person we love does choose to be with us and initially we can't believe it. It's so magical. And sometimes that fairy tale lasts and we grow old together, surrounded by our loving children and their loving children. And it's just a warm bath of love and belonging. Sometimes we have a child and we love him or her so much that our heart just feels like it's going to burst. It's overflowing with so much love. But sometimes relationships don't work out and the breakup is so crushing. For a time it feels like we can't breathe. And then sometimes we later realise that it was partly our own distortions that were co the cause of the breakup. No matter how tempting it is to point the finger at the other person. We learn from our breakup but the scar never fully heals. Yet that too is okay. It makes us who we are. Sometimes for a period of time, life is just effortless and everything just flows and everything just seems so easy and seems to come so naturally to us. Yet sometimes we take other people for granted. Sometimes we fail to communicate from the heart. We fail to say just how much we care about this other person. We fail to tell them just how much they meant to us. Sometimes we just cruise through our life on autopilot and then suddenly the time has come for our father to transition to his next life. And then he's gone, and we don't know what hit us or how to live without our father, yet still he's gone, and there's an empty space where his laughter used to be. And we would give anything to have just one more day with him, for us to hear our father say just one more time how proud he is of us. And then when our grandson asks us where his great-grandfather is, we'll try to hold it together and give a careful answer, but sometimes we just break down instead, and our partner will have to do the explaining because at that moment we just can't. And then a short while later, our granddaughter takes her first steps. And it's so beautiful, so magical, but also bittersweet, because our father would have so loved to have been there with us to witness her first steps, see her smile. 
If only he could have been there with us for this moment. Yes, obviously our living situations are different, but ultimately we're simply people, the same as you. Some of the ups and downs of life happen to us too, just as they happen to you. We're not perfect. If we were, we wouldn't be in physical bodies. Yes, some Pleiadians do resemble the picture of the idealised galactic that you have of us, but other Pleiadians are closer to your level of consciousness. By the way, see what I mean? That if you share strong positive emotions, strong negative emotions, and how you've suffered, then you can help other people realise that you're just like them, and that you might belong in their in-group too. I think that can be a useful tool to create harmony and peace and equal relations between different people. And yes, it really is true that if you take a random Pleiadian, then they would have done worse than the average light worker has if that Pleiadian had been born on Earth in the normal way. Therefore, you really are doing amazing, and you are amazing. I would like to propose the following. Instead of seeing us Pleiadians as some kind of higher beings, I suggest that you see us as humans who happen to be relatively unencumbered due to the quasi-paradise we grew up in. We can teleport not because we're Pleiadians, rather we can teleport because we are relatively unencumbered humans. Furthermore, I invite you to see yourself as humans who can become relatively unencumbered too in this lifetime, in the same way that us Pleiadians are currently relatively unencumbered. Even today you have the opportunity to learn and grow, and most likely you are already growing rapidly. And many more opportunities for growth will open up to you after we land because our galactic teachers and healers will be thrilled to work with you. Therefore, the amazing beings here aren't Pleiadians. The amazing beings here are those humans who are relatively unencumbered. And today that's us. And later on in your current life, that might well be you. And lots of other humans besides. The person we are today, you can become tomorrow, metaphorically speaking. And then you too will have all the qualities that you currently admire in us. This also means that we're in no way better than you. We just had a head start because we grew up in an easier environment. But in time, it may well be that you can teach us a thing or two about standing for the light in the midst of darkness and how to be authentic in a world gone mad. Who knows those lessons better than you? We know you think we are amazing. Well, we think you are amazing. Given how tough life on earth is, every single person receiving this message has done incredibly well. I love you and I am so very proud of you. Your star sister, Tourmaline.